Sign bar. The sign bar is the most accurate instrument for measuring angles. It consists of an accurate straight rectangular bar made of high quality steel and having two accurately lapped cylindrical plugs or rollers at the ends. Relief holes are sometimes provided to reduce the weight of the sign bar. Sign bar is specified by the distance between the centers of two rollers. That can be 100 mm, 200 mm, 250 mm, or 300 mm. Two rollers must be of same diameters. The various parts of sign bar are hardened before grinding and lapping. The rollers are so fixed that, when sign bar is placed on surface plate, the surface of the bar is exactly parallel to surface plate. Types of available sign bars. Sign bars are available in different forms and sizes, according to the purpose of its use and method of application. These are the different types of sign bars. If you are new to this channel click on the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so that you will never miss an update. Principle of working of sign bar. The principle of operation of the sign bar is based upon the application of trigonometry. In a right angle triangle ABC, the ratio of the length BC to that of the length AB is referred to as the sine of the angle theta. The ratio will always be the same irrespective of the length of sides of the triangle. By placing the slip gauges under one roller, the bar surface can be made parallel to any angular surface of work. Then by measuring the total height made by slip gauges, the angle can be found by using this relationship, where h equals height made by slip gauges, and l equals distance of between the centers of rollers. Let us see how the angle of small component is measured using sine bar. For checking the angle of small size components, a sign bar is set up to an approximate angle on a surface plate by suitable combination of slip gauges. The component being checked is placed over the surface of a sign bar. A dial gauge is mounted upon a suitable stand, such as universal surface gauge. It is moved over the component throughout its length. If there is a variation in parallelism of the upper surface of the component and the surface plate, it is indicated by the deflection of pointer. Now, we tried to adjust the slip gauge's height so that the dial indicator reads zero in this position. By knowing the height of the slip gauges which we denote as h and distance between the centers of the cylinders provided on the sign bar, we can use this relationship to find out angle theta made by the component surface. Now let us see how sign bars are used to measure the angles of large components. When component is too large to be mounted on the sign bar, the sign bar can be mounted on the component. The height over the rollers is measured by means of a vernier height gauge. A dial gauge is also used to check the measuring pressure. We adjust the height gauge until the dial gauge reads zero each time. The difference of the two height gauges reading being the height h. We can use this relationship to find out the angle theta, where r1 is the reading from height gauge 1 and r2 is the reading from height gauge 2. Uses of sign bar. A sign bar has to be used in conjunction with a surface plate and slip gauges. Sign bar is used for checking angle of components, taper of work pieces, etc. It is also used for setting a work to a known required angle. Accuracy requirement of sign bar. Sign bar is more accurate for angles between 15 degrees to 45 degrees below and above to this limit, angles measured are not much more accurate. If a sign bar is to be accurate then the following properties must exist. 1. The distance between centers, which is denoted by L, must be precisely known. 2. The axes of rollers must be parallel to each other. 3. The upper surface of the sign bar must be flat and parallel. 4. The rollers must be of identical diameters and round within a close tolerance. Sources of errors in sign bar. 1. Constant angle error. This is caused if the working surface and the cylinder axes are not parallel. 2. Progressive angle error. This is due to the error in cylinder center distance. 3. Gauge block tolerance accumulation is also a source of progressive error. Hope you have understood what is sign bar and how it is used. If you like this video click on the like button. If you enjoyed learning from this video and want to learn from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.